all right so hey what's up this is marcus with machine city audio and i wanted to do a real quick video on a new plugin i just picked up from plugin alliance and brainworks and it's called the bx 2098 eq and i remember when this first came out it was like way too expensive so i was like yeah i'm not even you know going to look at that but i was curious about it and i got an email over the weekend that it was on sale for 29 dollars, and then I actually had a voucher and so I used that together and I was able to get this EQ for $4. So I was like, ah, what the hell, you know, I might as well try it out. And I'm glad I did. I had to say it's the best $4 I've spent on a uh, plugin. All right, so I'm just going to go over a few things I like about the plugin and I'm just going to do it before and after so you can hear what it's doing. So it's not going to be a real detailed video about it. And, you know, I'm going to try to make this brief. So some of the features I really love about this EQ is the fact that it does have the THD option and this is known for being in Plugin Alliance's BX console plugin. So I'm glad that they added it to here. Really great option to have. Another great option to fact is that you can use this in mid side mode. And I'm really glad about having that in the EQ as well. That's always great to have. Now you also can add some width with the stereo width and then you have the mono maker as well. You know, so if you're using this on the mix bus or in the mastering situation, you know, you're able to monitor those frequencies that need to be mono, you know, the lower frequencies. So this is really great options. All these features in this EQ. Now let's start talking about the actual EQ. So the EQ is really musical, really sounds great, and it's powerful too. I mean, you don't have to do too much boosting or cutting to really get a great, great sound from this. So another thing I like about this EQ is the filters. The filters on here, I don't know what it is, but they sound really great, especially if, if you're filtering off some of the low end and you do to about 30 to 35 hertz, it just seems to give you this nice punch and it cleans up that bass. So it's really, really great. Try that out if you had this EQ. All right, and so the last thing I wanna talk about with this EQ for the high bands is the sheen option and really sounds great. You know, you really get some nice clarity and air behind your tracks when you use this. So you have everything you need in this EQ to actually just mix with just this EQ. And that's exactly what I did for this instrumental is mix with this EQ. And I'm also using it on the mix bus as well. Just to go over some of my settings and that I have on here, I am using it in the mid side mode. Uh, I'm using the high pass filter to filter off some of the low end to tighten it up at about 30 Hertz. I'm also filtering off the sides, uh, some of the low end on the sides at about 200 to about 150 Hertz. And then uh, for the low band, I am boosting at 80, about two dBs, and that's just to bring out that bass a little more because that's where it's sitting at in this mix. Uh, on the sides, I'm actually boosting a dB on the sides at 300, and that's to get the sides a little thickness. Uh, that doesn't work for everything, but it works in this case. All right, and then so for the low mids, I am actually cutting about 250 Hertz by three dB because it was like kind of muddy in that area. Uh, I'm not cutting or boosting anything on the low mids for the sides. Uh, we come to the high mids, I'm actually boosting about 2.5K, uh, 3 dB. And then on the sides, I'm boosting it at about the same, but only like a dB. And then the last band, the high frequency band, I'm using the sheen option and I'm boosting at about 12K. And I'm doing that at about three dB. And then I'm also boosting 21K for the sides at about 2.5 dB, 3 dB. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so let's do a little before and after. So I'm gonna play a loop of this instrumental and I'm gonna do a before and after. So let's start with it out first so we can hear what it sounds like.
And that's all I want to show you with the CQ right quick. As you can hear, it's like a blanket was just lifted off the whole track. And it really gave us some nice clarity and punch. And it really sounds good. Uh, I really like this EQ. I plan to do a lot more mixing with it and use it in a lot more situations. I'm glad I picked it up for $4. All right, so if you haven't subscribed to their emailing list, definitely do that because they'll let you know about the latest plugins, the latest deals, everything. So if you had the opportunity to pick this up again on sale, definitely pick this up, all right? All right, so once again, I am Marcus with Machine City Audio. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Peace and until next time.